You know, we've heard the holidays referred to as the most wonderful time of the year, and they are for some, but those feeling the absence of a loved one, you know, that holiday can actually bring a lot of grief. There are things that are out there, though, spiritual outlets and folks who are trying to help with those mourning. And experts say it's okay to feel like you need those resources. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. It's called The Longest Night, a special service on the longest night of the year, the winter solstice. The intention of the longest night service is for people who need space to grieve in the midst of the holidays, which um, there's not a lot of time that is allowed for that. Whitney Bayer is associate pastor at South Mecklenburg Presbyterian, a church that's been offering these grief centered services for years during the winter holidays. We are reminded of Christ's light when we need it the most, um, when the days are the shortest and, and the night is the longest. The purpose is to acknowledge the loss and feel it without having to pretend or play into emotional expectations of the holiday season. Oh, Therapist awesome. Jackie Greco says this focus aligns with the best support one could give to a person in mourning. The kindest thing that we can do in supporting those that we love through the grieving process is to honor their process and to honor their way of going about it. And Greco says it is a process. It's okay to be overwhelmed and it's also okay to take things one day at a time. And if we're really overwhelmed, it's okay to take things one hour, one minute at a time. She says, if that's you right now, take those baby steps if needed knowing there are others walking beside you in support. Go now in peace, trusting that you are loved, you are known, and you are not alone. Thanks be to God. Amen. So a big special thanks to digital content producer here at WCNC Charlotte, Matthew Ablon, who had such a passion for telling this story and making sure folks knew about this resource. And so he gathered a lot of the insights we just saw there. We'll let you know the longest night is tomorrow. So there is going to be a virtual service at South Mech Presbyterian. You can find more details on how to stream it on our website, WCNC.com.